To grow fungi, sometimes you have to do a couple of things differently than what you would with bacteria. Number one, fungi prefer a more acidic uh, environment, and so we often drop the pH down a bit. Media that we grow bacteria in is usually anywhere from pH 7, which is neutral, to pH 7.5, maybe up to 8, and bacteria prefer that. But fungi don't. They prefer media in a pH range in from about 5.5 to 6.5, so you have to drop the pH down a bit. So you're going to use a little bit different media for that. That will inhibit the bacteria from growing, so that it, it's selective from that standpoint of what pH you have. Are you looking for, to grow bacteria? You're looking to grow the fungi. You can grow fungi on auger plates like you do bacteria. We don't use an inoculating loop to do that. Um, because of the fact that they do grow differently, we often use this type of an apparatus. You can select what size of a plug you want to pull out from a petri dish and transfer to a next one, whether you want a smaller size or a larger one. Uh, this is very helpful, say, in research where the size of inoculum needs to be consistent. And you would just pull the plug from one plate with the growth and plop it on top of the next plate. Fungi in a broth medium are going to look different than bacteria. Bacteria, you know how when it's growing in a broth, it turns very turbid or cloudy. Fungi don't do that. They tend to form little balls, but the liquid portion remains clear. And so that's just another difference between them. What I'm going to do is combine sort of food microbiology with fungi. We're just taking some fresh strawberries and I'm just going to drop this a couple pieces into the Sabarod auger, which is an auger that is for fungi. It has a lower uh, pH and so we will see if we get any growth. We're going to grow this um, for 24 hours. I'm picking strawberries because strawberries are notorious for having fungal spores on the outer surface of them. Everybody's familiar with that when you go and you see those beautiful strawberries at the grocery store and then you come home and the next day, oh, I want strawberries and they have all the little fuzzies on them. That's fungi. This is blue cheese. And so we are also going to inoculate this into the Sabarad. I'm just taking a chunk of the cheese, putting it in there, and I say we'll incubate it alongside with the strawberries. And in 24 hours, we will check to see what type of growth we have of the fungi. We could grow this on a solid medium um, or liquid, so we're, we're trying the liquid medium. This is our Sabra uh, liquid broth with fungi, or to stimulate the growth of fungi. Remember, this has a lower pH, so it tends to inhibit the growth of bacteria. This is the tube that we had strawberries in. This was incubated at 37. As you can see, the strawberries um, looked very good to the fungi. They're starting to grow in there. One thing about this, notice that the media itself is clear. If it was bacterial growing, that liquid would be turbid or cloudy. Fungi, when they are growing, they do not turn the surrounding uh, medium cloudy at all. They're growing just on the source. And then we also had a blue cheese sample. Now some fungi take longer than others to grow. Now some of that is the chunks of the, the blue cheese, but you also have some fungi growing in there. Most of the liquid is clear. Once again, these were at 37, and then we had some that were at room temperature. So once again, the strawberries, you can see, has extensive growth on the surface, but the media itself is clear. That's all you can always use to distinguish. Oh, do I have fungi growing in there, or is it bacterial? Look to see whether the, the liquid portion, is it clear or is it cloudy? And then the blue cheese at uh, room temperature, you do have some growth starting there as well. Fungi typically will grow a little bit slower than the uh, bacteria will. So sometimes you have to leave these. This is only about 24 hours of growth. You often will have to leave 
fungal media uh, that you've inoculated a little bit longer to get extensive growth as compared to bacteria.